I learned so much that it's hard to think of who I would be without them. Um, they were both very involved in in the community, but also involved you know, with the natural world. So from the, well, when I was tiny, my father was in the army, so you know, it was during the war. Um, so it was my mother that taught me the the names of the plants and the flowers and where the creek ran and that sort of thing. I always associate her with that. Um, although my father, of course, did that too. He, um, from, from both of them, it, there was a real respect for the world that was out there, what, what, not trying to change it, but to, to really be part of it. We talked about our place in the natural world uh, in, in a lot of context. That is what we could do or what, uh, what, was, um, what was the right thing to do or how did we do it. There was never any question about the fact that we and the natural world were all part of one world. Um, and, the, and that we were so lucky to see this. The, the river, of course, was the main feature in Campbell River. Um, and, and it was, and still is, it's our natal river. The, my sibs feel the same way as I do. It, it's so important to us. And I, I can remember oh, a thousand things, but... Um, we learned to swim in the river. We we swam a lot, and then when we got bigger, my father would take us across the river in the canoe, and but and then we eventually could swim back across. Um, but always learning how the river worked, where the eddies were, where the rocks were, um, how the ferns grew on the bank. You never finished. You never say, "Ah, oh, now I understand nature and all the world and what's in it and all that." It's always learning, learning. So, whether you're just beginning or a little bit farther along or a lot, far, it doesn't really matter. It's just learning. Talk about a legacy fund. I'm looking way ahead for the ones that are buried the most. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to get those back, but I'm sure they're going to come back because water does flow. Water is there and does flow and nothing we can do can stop it. So uh, you might put it in a pipe, you might put it underground, you might whatever you like. Um, those things are all going to wear out and eventually the water will find its way again. Oh, there's one called Rock Creek that goes into Rock Bay down to and the, I think it's all buried but, uh, but the woman that Champions that creek is uh, is not put out by that. You know, you just keep on pushing away. And push. It's a little bit the way I am with Todd Creek Flats. Now that I've been, I don't know how long I've been looking at those flats, uh, 30, 40 years, and imagining. And honestly, I haven't got anywhere with it yet. It just doesn't. But that doesn't mean I won't, or that something won't happen. It is, it's time is coming. What gives me hope? It, it's, uh, I guess I'm a, a kind of a hopeful person anyway. <laughs> that's, that's part of it. And uh, where I want to, um, where I want to see things going, a lot of things are going that way already, you know, so I know that, that more will come. I don't see how this ethic of, rape and take it all is going to, it can't survive. That, that's a one-way street and, and people who are doing it even know it's a one-way street. They just want to get their bit off the thing while the going's good. Um, it'll come. It'll come to the, an end and uh, you know, we may have to wait for a long time or we may not be, may not be very long. I don't know. Um, but I think that people Gradually, we'll see, and then the more people like Ian on Peninsula Streams uh, that do what needs to be done and provide openings for people to get into it, um, the better. You know, 
what you can do, what, what one person can do. And uh, that's where you start. That's where it is. That's where it's happening. I just keep plugging along, and I think that lots of people keep plugging along. And you're going to keep plugging to the last gasp. Oh, you're damn right. <laughs> <laughs>